Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. And we are going to look at something wacky. This is probably the most bizarre and strangest shopping mall I have ever seen in my life. It's the Oviedo Mall in Oviedo, Florida. And I, I, I don't know, I, I'm old. I, I don't shop in malls anymore. I don't go to hang out in malls and things like that. But from what I remember a mall being is that it was a place you went to go shopping, mostly, or hang out with friends, which I'm assuming teenagers still do that, go to the mall and hang out with friends. But this mall does not quite offer that same experience. So, well, just just take a look and you'll you'll see. Pulling into the Oviedo Mall, it looks like any other mall, right? Big sign, big building. It's got the map, and it looks normal except there's a Sears. I I didn't even know Sears was still in existence. If you look around here, there's also a Dillard's that's closed. But look at all of these that are closed. This is this is seven o'clock at night, so that's one of the first oddball things, is that. Most of the stores in this mall close at 7 o'clock at night. Now, when you look around, you start to say, oh, okay, this is just a normal shopping mall. There's a Bath and Body Works. It's closed. There's a shoe department right there. The shoe department was actually open past 7, so there are a few stores still open. And then, oh, look, here's a Barnes & Noble. I didn't know Barnes & Noble booksellers still existed, but there it is, fairly normal. And then you start to run into... The oddball things. When you spin around, there's a wedding chapel. There's a wedding chapel in the mall. The, uh, hey, let's go to the mall and get married. Okay, let's invite all our family and friends to the mall to get married. That's just odd. And then when you look right over here, here's an open mic night at a theater school. It's an acting school, Penguin Point Productions. It's theater, music, art. And they do shows and teach acting and improv classes and right next door they even have their own theater <laughs> look at that they have a theater where they do shows and and then if you look right over here there's actually there's there's a costume shop and it's proper theatrical costumes look at that i mean real costumes and if that type of production wasn't enough there's others look there's patty cake productions I don't know what kind of productions they do. They were closed, but they have screen used props apparently. There's also a video production company in this mall. Um, do you want to learn to dance? Okay, let's go to the mall and take dance classes. Strange. And this, this, this is a huge Paul Mitchell school. Look how big this Paul Mitchell school. Let's go to the mall and learn to do people's hair. So, lots of oddball schools, and then you look around and you get the oddball stores, like Ducky's Vintage Boutique. And it's all these old clothes, and props, and VHS tapes, and things like that. And, hey, don't worry about going to GameStop. How about going to Hudson's Video Games? There's an off-brand video store. And, do you like to paint? Do you want to learn to paint? Here's a painting school. Lots of painting supplies and stuff. You can see the easels and things set up there in the back where they give painting classes here at Calliope Street. So, hey, let's go to the mall and learn to paint stuff. And you know what? Don't worry about your favorite toy store because we've got it covered with Go! Calendar Toys and Games. Very strange. And it's these odd games and stuff. Hey, you want to go to the Mad Science Laboratory and... I don't know, have a party or a show or camp out, you can do that right here. And they have the strangest setup for a Regal movie theater. So this is a standalone box office and self-service kiosk down here, just sitting on the bottom floor. And then if you look, if you go up the escalators, look, there's concessions up there. There's concession stands for the movie right up there, out in the open. And then over to the left is the actual theater. What an odd way to set up a Regal movie theater. And lastly, let's look at this. Hey, feed the fish, make a wish. It's some kind of aquarium. You go and you put $2 in and it feeds fish. And I guess you make a wish. And then down at the bottom, right here, some type of gift comes out. Maybe related to your wish. 
How strange is that? There you have it, the most bizarre mall I have ever seen in my life. I, I'm gonna have to go now and research this mall and see more about it and what's going on and what's the history behind it and all that because I hear or have read that there were plans or are plans to even build new apartments inside the mall where people will actually live there as well. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some more research and check it out. But I thought you would have found what I found interesting while I was over in Oviedo. So I hope you have liked watching this video. If you have, click the like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on subscribe and you'll be subscribed to the channel and notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.